Okay, I wanted to show a tutorial on how to replace the grease on the rotary, rotary ring of a Sunway MAM V10R. Um, what you're going to need is your flashlight and a blower, air blower, and silicone grease, any type of brand would do, and um, Q tips if you want. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, I just um, I'm using my bathroom because it's the smallest room I have in the house, and uh, I I ran a air cleaner in the bathroom for probably about an hour. Um, this is just to reduce the amount of dust in the room. Um, also had the air conditioning running to reduce the humidity. Um, so basically, I had it running, and then I'll have a an area that has uh, reduced dust. Which is better. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I removed the head from the battery, from the body that has the battery. And um, what you're going to do is unscrew the bezel from the rest of the body. I, I already pre loosened it. What you can do is use a rubber band on the separate parts to get a better grip as you're rotating it around. Okay, so there we go. When you remove the bezel, there's the O-ring, this is the first part, and then there's the reflector. Reflector, and then the glass is there. Now I'll face that down. Um, then you can see you already, you already have access to the interior. Um, the next section that would come off would be the ring. And here you can see it come off. It's also screwed in. And there's actually a there's actually a little ring, this metal ring around it that might might or may not um, may came may I might come out. And if it does, you have to remember to put it back in. I think it's like a spacer to uh, so when you put it on. Okay. Then what you're left with is the light engine. You have the the circuit, and here's the the lead and then this just slides off basically so that's how it it is basically there's just grease here originally and that the the friction of the grease allows you to feel allows you to to, to have the friction as you're rotating it i don't really like the stock grease inside it, i felt like it was i felt like it was too loose so I already replaced it with the silicone grease, which I really like. It gives it a more firmer feeling, and it's less likely to twist in use. So that's what I like to do. Um, so then all you have to do is separate that. And these are the different parts of the, the light. Um, and then all you have to do is you can use a... I use, I use a Q-tip with um, mixed in with the... just to apply the grease along the edges. And you can be pretty liberal about it. I mean, when you squeeze it in, when you put it back in, all the excess will just get pinched out, and then you can just clean it later. Um, and there's the magnets for reading the position of the ring for the different outputs. Um, so that's basically it. This is how you take apart. This is how you take apart the head of a V10R, and then this would be the way for some people. Maybe they're their little control ring has become loose or they don't they don't like how it feels from this from stock and so I would just recommend any kind of um, silicone grease um, it doesn't have to be night it could be any any kind and and the silicone grease is basically made for o-ring so you can use it for that purpose as well um, it's pretty much it um, when you take it apart you have to be very careful the reason I I'm using a air cleaner for the room is because you don't want dust to get into the lens and uh, the reason I'm taking it apart now is because I'm actually going to swap the lens for a new new one, I'm um, reflector, I'm sorry I want to swap the reflector for a new one because I got dust in it and I'm pretty picky about that um, if you do happen to get, so when you take it apart I would recommend that you have like some sort of cap that can cover it just to prevent any other dust to get in there um, if you do happen to get dust into the reflector uh, you don't want to wipe it for any reason. You don't want to spray it or anything. Or otherwise, you're going to scratch it because it's very sensitive. It's very um, delicate coating. 
So um, the best thing you can do is try to use a blower to, to blow out the dust. Or um, in extreme cases, you can make uh, use distilled water, mix it with some soap, and then you can put it in a cup and like shake it around and just by that motion. Don't ever try to rub it for any reason. You will scratch it no matter what. Uh, and then you can, after you, you rinse, try to rinse it out with the soapy water, you blow out the excess. Um, that's the only, this is the only like option basically you can do besides just replacing it. But, you know, I tried doing that and I had some dust that I was really stuck on. Um, then I tried wiping it off and then I scratched the, the reflector. I mean, you can't really see it here, but you'll see it if I had the light lit. Um, so if you're picky like me, you end up replacing the reflector anyway. So I highly recommend you're very careful when you take it apart to not to uh, touch the lens for any reason, especially fingerprints will be, uh, you won't be able to get it off. And uh, to work in a in a dust-free environment. So you wanna, like either, for me, I'll run an air cleaner inside a really small room to reduce the dust, and then I can do that. And then if you're, you know, when you have access to the lead, you can do some other things. I put some some uh, tritium tubes, and I glued it around the lead, so now I have some extra, it actually reflects a little bit lighting out in complete darkness. Um, that's something you can do, or some people they want to de-dome the lead, they can do it, or maybe swap the lead. This uh, little uh, white ring actually pops off, um, and then you have access to the lead underneath. Um, but right now, it's I have it glued in because of the tubes. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You know, this is how you would replace the the greasy the grease from the control ring if you really don't like it. Um, or you need to service it for whatever reason. Um, and for some people, they want to replace this part or drill this part. They want to make some aftermarket uh, tubes inside here. It's also a, a nice little, um, nice little aftermarket effect. Okay.